Okay, the next tab is the insurance. So basically, this will be all your insurance information. Uh, the insurance company has a drop down menu, and you can select from that. You can start typing it in, and then you'd go down and select the one that you're needing. Uh, you can also just type this in, and because uh, not all insurance companies are listed in there, and so that's the case you just type it in like smith insurance company is not listed in there so we'll type that and then you could add the office the claim office you know phone number and stuff like that if you need to right here is where you're going to add the policy number and then uh right down here's the deductible which is going to be five hundred dollars now we're going to put the claim number. It's always important to have that in there. And this is going to usually be set on vehicle. They do have some other categories, but CCC really works best with vehicles. And then you need to select if it's a collision, which is an accident, comprehensive, like a deer hit or hell damage. Liability is going to be like a third party claim. So select, select which one of those it is. And then the date of, date of loss, that's always important to have in there. And if you know the time, you can put that as well. Uh, sometimes as an estimator, you may not have that information. Date reported, you know, if you, if you know that whenever they report it. Now there's some tricks to like, when I come to the state here, I know if I hit M, tap to it, hit M, down arrow five times, it'll land on Missouri. Okay, we're gonna start on the next uh, tab and go ahead and go through it real fast. And I'm going to show you how to use these drop downs on this one. Uh, you can just type the shop in manually, but uh, I'm just going to go to the local shop they have here. And this is in the drop down menu. And see, it auto populates all their information, which is nice. And uh, the, you know, date inspected, you always want to make sure that is on there. And then whenever I get to the. Uh, you know, where, where was it inspected at? Now here again, if it was the vehicle owner's home, it'll put their address that you put on the first page on. If it's the shop, it'll put their address, or maybe it was at work and you'll have to enter, enter that manually. So select where this was inspected at. And then like if we say it was at the shop, it auto populates all that and we don't have to retype all that. So it makes it really nice. And then the last thing over here is days to repair, which we'll talk about that more in an upcoming video.